this is the latest project I've been working on. It's a ZX81. And um, so far so good. Uh, doesn't work in high resolution mode though. But uh, for the most part it does seem to want to work. If I can type this with one hand. H, no. H. So far so good. I can load off my computer as well through the sound card, which I'll do now. Uh, load, quote, quote. And then if I hit space, there we go. Anyway, that takes five minutes to load, so I'll stop this and continue when it's done. Nearly there. <clears throat> anyway, I've built this thing out of GALS, Generic Array Logic. Here we go. Never mind about that, I'll just watch show you this. I don't have the sound chip plugged in yet. I intend to do that later. Uh, five. One. Okay, one hundred. Enter. And one. a little bit wobbly because I don't have a 6.5 megahertz crystal. Uh, I'm actually using a VCO uh, about 6.5 megahertz. So it's a little bit wobbly. It's not perfectly stable. Look at him dance. Anyway. To reset it, I have to go in here across that capacitor, if I can. There it goes. A bit difficult with the camera in my hand. But um, I'll load up a high resolution game and show you what happens. Okay, that's that's done now. Um, it's a key to start. So that's in low res, that's normal whatever. But then I get that sort of nonsense at high res. And I can't can barely make out anything. Uh still need to diagnose that. You can sort of make out yeah, I just got hit then. Anyway. The hardware. I've got a VCO here. Some passive circuitry to bias the audio input to the inverter which goes off to the logic over here, there's six logic chips up here Z80, ROM, RAM, line counter and of course the keyboard which is tactile switches but anyway um, so far so good seems to be working